what is going on guys so today we are out at uh, one of my favorite places here to just find some areas to crawl and whatnot nice and close to home the forest preserve so we're gonna dive right into it I've got a couple trucks here that I'll show you in a second that we're gonna be running today and um, yeah hope you enjoy just doing some outdoor crawling with the warthog and a truck that you've seen before but not in this current setup so real excited about it real happy with how it performs so let's give it a shot we will do a quick run run down of these two trucks here I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this right here. This is a Warthog chassis that I sell and designed. Um, this one has a ton of brass on it, overdrive gears up front, uh, of course longer four-linked front end with an Emax servo, uh, 050 motor and then stock electronics. This one here, this is new to the channel, this is a uh, JL that I chopped the body on and then printed a bed for. I'm really happy with how that came out but this is the brushless setup we have a surpass and a fury tech setup in there and i just love how this thing crawls um, with the wheels here so we're gonna get these things buttoned up and start doing some crawling for you all righty guys so first up we have the jl coming across this little rock section tried it a handful of times now it's pretty hairy but uh everything's a little wet and that makes it a bit difficult with traction but i think it is doable if you get a little throttle in there Get yourself up and over this first obstacle without high centering, of course, and falling off the other side, but looks like we made it there. Now this drop down is a little sketchy too, but I think it is doable. So let's see what we can do here. There we go. And drop right down into that and move on through. Alrighty guys, now we have the Warthog up, which should perform pretty well with its low center of gravity. And I love these uh, little RC four-wheel drive Goodyear tires. They really do a great job. But this has a longer wheelbase, which is going to help us right off the bat here. And of course, a much lower center of gravity. And you can see, with ease, I was just able to crawl that section. And that took me a, uh, a few run-ups with, uh, with the brushless JL there. So really really happy with the performance on this thing alrighty guys so let's see what we can do in this little creek crossing here I think we can get ourselves into a little mud first too so let's see how it handles it these are the Baja claws and this is some sticky stuff, so we'll see if we can get through it. There it comes. We're going to make it through that. Got to get those tires cleaned off here on the rest of this river run. And none of these electronics are waterproof, but they are all pretty high up, so I'm not too concerned about frying them. Looks like to get up that, we're going to need a bump. There we go. And can we crawl down without rolling? We will find out here. Ooh, just barely. Almost lost it there, but made it through. So the JL has successfully done the little mudding section in the river run. Let's move on to the Warthog. Now we're going to have the Warthog hit that same segment here and see how it does. It's not really made for stuff like this, but it's always fun to just uh, run what you got and uh, enjoy the terrain you have available. So, swamping through that mud there, cleaning off the wheels in the creek section. Now, we're going to go ahead and try to get up this rock. Right up it there, and of course with this thing, I'm not really worried about it getting off that other side. So, Start with the JL here. Just run this little rock line. I 
I just love how this thing looks guys with this wheel setup and everything and the Fury Tech it just performs great. We're gonna get into some more extreme terrain right here but these Baja claws are really grabbing and just pulling it over everything. I'm happy with them. See if we can do this section. Of course, it's a little deep and we don't want to short any electronics, so got to be careful. And look at that. Almost got right up and through there, but uh, we'll have to pull it out and move on. And again, excuse my one-handed driving here, as that is making it a little bit difficult. But I want to try to get some great crawling shots for you guys. There we go. So this is where the high clearance links would come into play. And maybe a little bit bigger wheel setup. I don't have them on this at the moment, but I would like to do that soon. Lost it there. I don't think we're going to make it. Oh, yeah, we did. After a little bouncing, we were able to make it right up and over that. That's a tough little section for this thing. There we go, but we pushed through. Alright, well that was a good little run. Now let's give it a shot with the Warthog, eh? So here we go with the Warthog guys and I think it's going to do a bit better. It's got the better tires, the high clearance links and of course a much lower center of gravity which isn't really an issue with section like this. Um, something with mud slingers or similar would probably do just as well with the extra ground clearance. But as you can see we're having no issues just crawling right up and over that stuff. I'm going to take this line here, just push up and over that. I would crawl in there, but with this one being much lower, 
I'm concerned that it would uh, it would end up going underwater there. So not going to go too far into that. But we'll, we'll play it by ear and see what we can do. Actually, not too bad. Get hung up at the same place as the other one because there's really not anywhere to go from there. So let's get it out. Let's uh, see if we can climb over this little section here. Look at that, guys. Did have a rollover off the back, but it's a fun and cool little climb there. Do it again for you. Right up and over. The diff clearances are our biggest issue. It'd be cool to get some like portals or something for these things. Maybe that'll uh, have to be a project for the future here. Even with the tires and everything being wet, it is performing really well. And look at that articulation, guys. I mean, these things really just do perform. Keep running up this river run and this thing's really just crawling over whatever I'm throwing at it and I'm real happy with it. Oh, I see a fun obstacle for the warthog up here. See if we can do it. What do you think, guys? You think it's gonna make it up this? I'm not sure myself. Maybe with try dry, dry tires, but with the wet ones, I don't know. Looks like it might just be a little too wet there. That's all right, we'll keep on crawling. Hung up on both differentials there for a second. Now oh, we're lifting up our hood. We got sticks caught. Man, let me fix that. Super happy with how this thing's performing though, guys. It really just does want to crawl over whatever you can put in its way. And again, I'm just driving with one hand right now because obviously holding the camera with my other, but Let's see if we can get up and onto that. Look at that. There we go. It gets deep there. We're not going to drive through that, so I'm just going to kind of pick it up and bring it to this side.
again guys though just super happy with the warthogs performance having a blast driving this thing and I know a lot of you guys are enjoying them too Let's see if we can uh, get it up onto this ledge here here we'll uh, add a little bit of help I suppose Out in the wild, sometimes you just gotta figure out the obstacles as you go. Maybe add to them, change them up a bit, make them possible. But we're struggling on this one. Struggling real hard. So let me grab another rock here. Let's see if that'll help. There we go. One downfall with these things is you always somehow find a way to get hung up on that front servo. And did the loop. Super happy with both of these trucks right now, guys. I mean, this is just a really cool little spot. I just found a crawl. And uh, yeah, it was a blast ripping them through here. And guys, it's just as I was about to walk out here, I saw this. It's a rather steep and rocky uphill from uh, some runoff water, so let's give it a shot with the uh, JL first, and then we'll give it a shot with the Warthog. And you can see, we're making it up a little ways, but not too far here with the JL. I'm just going to get it past that difficult section there and just see if we can get a nice slow crawl up the rest of it but again this is pretty tough it's got the wet tires I don't know if it's gonna want to make it but here we go and look at that guys it is trying throwing some rocks down but it did make it oh, almost there we go made it up to the top there All right, we'll give it a shot with the Warthog now. Here we go. Gotta dry off those tires a little bit here. Make sure I am in the high speed setting. Oh no, only in medium. Let's bump that up. Oh, I'm caught around that stick there. We gotta get out of that. There we go. Get around that stick. And we'll be doing a lot better here. Hung up on a rock right there. Let's see if we can't push through it. There we go. And this one was able to take the more difficult route that the uh, Jeep couldn't take. And again, I think it's these tires. I like these a lot more. And also the uh, low center gravity and articulation, of course. So that was a fun little line, guys. Alrighty, guys. So I had a ton of fun crawling with these things today. Really happy with how the Warthog performed. And I'm normally pretty happy with it. Um, and also the new JL brushless setup. A lot of fun. Love the pickup truck bed. Um, again, Guys, if you want a Warthog chassis, links are in the description below. Um, I've also posted the JL bed for free on my Colts page because you do have to cut a body and that can get a little hairy. So again, thanks for coming by and checking it out. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.